All right, guys, it's Stephen here on Blue Horizon TV, and we are back with a city predictor. I'm joined by Elliot. Hello. Who's got to eat a chili soon. <laughs> Basically, Don't. last week he lost um, the forfeit. We'll get onto that in a little bit, but we're going to uh, pick the team after we've done the fan duel stuff. We're going to crack right into fan duel. If you haven't been getting involved already, you should be, because yep. it's a lot of fun, isn't it? I've been playing it last week. I am absolutely obsessed, constantly tinkering <laughs> with it. It's basically it's fantasy football, but it changes every weekend, so it resets itself. So you do it on a Friday for the weekend, and uh, it's, it takes in the weekend's games. You do it again the next weekend. And so. there's like cash prizes as well and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah, yeah. and if you use our promo code, if you look in the description below us, uh, you follow the link and use the promo code Blue Moon, and they will match any deposit back for you. So you get free goes basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. you pay for it. But we're all involved. I'm there. Alex is there. Elliot's there. We can't get Walton, but he's in Spain at the moment, summing it up. So yeah, he's probably you should get involved. Somebody's going to have to explain it to Walton. Yeah, but if you get involved, um, yeah, follow the link below. You have to be 18 and in the UK to play it. But we're also so going to give away one of these infamous legendary Blue Moon t-shirts. It's got the old logo on it as well. So, yeah. Rare. It's so it's, rare. it's vintage and beautiful. Uh, so any City fan, the highest ranking City fan in this week's Football Republic Challenge, use that one, uh, will win this. So you get this and also you probably get money as well. You probably end up winning some money. So Yeah, uh, yeah, because you'd finish quite high up, yeah. Yeah, so it's, um, even I want it. I'm not allowed to have one because I'm not special enough. <laughs> so yeah, but last week we did all right. Uh, once again, we beat the other fan channels. We beat Full Time Devils, Football Republic, Chelsea uh, fans channel, Spurred on. We beat him as ever, as we yeah, always do. Beat him the week before as well. Hey, look at our team. We did. Uh, we had uh, Kyle Norton did all right for us. You know, yeah. attacking fullbacks, Negredo and Aguero. That partnership still lives on strong. The Absolutely. Beast, the Beauty and the Beast, as they were called. They, yeah, um, yeah. They, they, they got Aguero got 50 points last week. That's a lot of points. Isn't that it? is a lot of points. Yeah, yeah, and he killed it. We also had Silver did all right. Mares, Lamella. Kolarov uh, doing these kind of Kolarov's like, a good shout, yeah. Yeah, because he plays centre back and as a, and as a left back. He's yeah, whatever he wants to basically. He's it? all over the place. But we've got a team up for this week. Um, should we go into the team we've got? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, we need to get our phones out. We didn't plan for this in, uh, ahead. Oh, Elliot's got a team up. Here right. we go. Who, who have we gone for? So we've got uh, well, we've gone for ex City player Schmeichel <laughs> in in goal. Yeah, because we would have gone with Caballero maybe, but. Who knows what's going on? We'll get onto that in a bit. Yeah. Well, we don't know if he's going to be playing. Then we've gone with Leighton Baines. Guess a few uh, points. Put uh, back. Tax. Yeah. Collins, who's been decent for West Ham. West Ham haven't got a great deal going forward. But, but he has scored for them and he's looked rock solid it's in It's also defense. a bit of a sweet thing. It's one of those situations where it, obviously they've got City. So it's like if we don't do well, it means Collins has done well. So we kind of like win win for us. Yeah, that's true. We and if get... anybody's scoring for, for them uh, at the weekend, I think it'll be a set piece and it's likely to be him. John Stone's he's at the bargain. back as well for us. He's only like 5.3 million, isn't he? John Stone's is 5.8 million. 5.8 million, you get 100 million to spend. He's genuinely won the bargains of the game. I'd have him three or four times over if so I could. Roberto, Roberto Martinez is the fan for his cheap price for the poor form of last season. Yeah. He's got this great player. Then midfield, who we got? Sadio Mane, he's scoring loads of goals for Liverpool at the moment. We've got uh, Redmond, Dave from Redmond. Uh, yeah. yeah. They've got Sunderland, I think, Southampton. So he, he's a, he's a good, good winger. He creates chances, scores goals. Yeah. And we've got Mares. Not really say anymore. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's the, last year, Unless they're up been a bit quiet so far this season, but uh, if they're going to switch on at some point. Gareth Barry, because he's Gareth Barry. He's, yeah. He's, he's, I yeah. love Gareth Barry. Love that was from the guys. heart, not the head, that buy. Yeah, I think, yeah. 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 Was, uh, I love Gareth Barry. Obviously, and do you know what? We cannot not have Aguero. And yeah. the Negredo again. <laughs> this is the, the, these three, uh, we're going to end up putting in our set, and I bet you'll probably do the same. And you could do worse, actually, than go with these three up front. Aguero, Negredo, and Nolito. We're just basically pretending that the Aguero and Negredo partnership was never broken up. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Even though the shirts are clearly different colours, that's it, not bothering it, us. It's living on through Frangel. So, so. <laughs> yeah, please, that is our team. Get uh, in the comment below. You'll see in the description a link to uh, the TFR Challenge Football Republics. Use the promo code uh, Blue Moon and uh, get involved. See if you can beat us. See if you can win this wonderful t-shirt and potentially a little bit of money as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, right. Now we're going to watch Elliot uh, embarrass himself and eat a chilli. So it's uh, the predicted team and before that we've got to see uh, Elliot humiliate himself. Now last week he lost the forfeit and look what he has to do. Yeah, I've got to eat this Thai hot <laughs> chilli before we get on to pick the team. I thought it was going to be me. I was genuinely terrified. You've got a glass of milk ready as well, haven't I you? I have got a glass of milk ready <laughs> down here. Yeah, I'll put that. Hopefully I'm not going to need it. When do I... Are you three, two, one me? Yeah, okay, right. Please don't die, okay? I'll try my best. <laughs> three, two, one, go on. This is going to... Oh, man! It is hot. <laughs> Right, we've got to predict the team now. We're going to go straight Somebody into it. Somebody told me it wasn't going to be hot. I can smell it. <laughs> right, we're going to go into the team. So in goal, uh, is it going to be Claudio Bravo or Cavalero or Joe Hart? <laughs> Joe Hart. I think, 
I no. think I think Claudio Barrero might actually sign. I think he might stop. So I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I think between now and Sunday, that might happen. Yeah, it might. And if he, <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> and if he, Claudio Barrero is going to be in goal. I reckon. I'm going to going to. You might not even be at the club by then. Um, right back. <laughs> Do you want a glass of milk? And right back, we're going to have. Um, I'm going to go for Pablo Zabaleta. Sandy's still got a knock. I'm fairly good at right. He'll be fine. I think this is a sign that speaks volumes. You want you want Zabaleta there. I love Zabaleta. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your twin. Uh, in in defence, I'm going to go for um, Stones. Are you sweating? Yeah. <laughs> Stones. Who else do you think is going to be centre back? Stones, Otamendi, maybe? Stones and Otamendi have been great so far together. Uh, Stones has been amazing since he walked on to the, to the pitch at the Atia. He's been absolutely. I can just smell your breath. It's <coughs> so peppery. He's been absolutely brilliant. I am perspiring heavily. <laughs> a left back is going to be, uh, to me, I'm going to go for Kolarov again. He seems, Pep seems to love him. Kolarov's all over the pitch, man. He's, he's, a, he's a left back, he's, he's a full back, he's playing in midfield. The game, <laughs> the game against Bucharest, he was all over the pitch. He's playing, playing about three positions. It's been yeah. great. Uh, he's gonna be, that's going to be a back four. I think all the play, all the milk's coming out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> four in the milk. I think it's going to be the back four that we predict, really, the strongest one, the ones that were arrested. Um, then in centre midfield, it's going to be, uh, I think Fernandinho will come back in. Yeah. Silva, Silva uh, and De Bruyne, maybe again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say. I can't. I mean, yeah, 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 talking. I could convince you, like Gerard Vikings was playing. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Corrigan. Like, yeah, Joe Corrigan's goal. Yeah, yeah. Alano's back. Like, yeah. Paul Lake's in. <laughs> yeah, Paul Lake's in. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to die. <laughs> I might news. sweat to death. Uh, yeah, De Bruyne, definitely. So, Silver. It will be a bit more like the sort of Premier League team setup that we've seen so far from Pep and a bit less like the, the midweek. Um, Champions League qualifier, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, Nolito, and I'm going to say Nolito and Sterling. I think that's what it's going to be. Because yep. Navas started, obviously, the other day. And then it's going to be Aguero up front, isn't it? Um, yep. The new side, Sane, is he going to be back in time? I don't think he will be, will he? There was a hint that he might not be, that, that, he's, that he's fit and back in time and, and all that kind of thing and ready to do it. But that there's the international break after this game. And it would probably make more sense to yeah. give them the rest and the training. Yeah, I do that, agree with that. Because I don't think we need that. to rush him back, do we? Really? But then the first game back after that's the derby, so that's a worry. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think in general, like the idea of giving them the next few days might uh, happen. But <laughs> I like see you like, you know, when a dog does that when it's hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think I think Sandy will, he might be on the bench. You never know. It's an outside the shot. Be nice to see him. Yeah, Sandy is injured. Obviously, he won't be available. Going yep. to one and company are back in uh, ten days apparently. Kalechi so. injured as well, of course. Yeah, Kalechi. Oh, he's all right. Uh, he seems yeah. to be. He put on Twitter. Um, it won't be. I don't think it'll be a chance for Joe Hart to play again. You know, I think he had a no, very emotional farewell last night. Obviously, it yeah. seemed that was quite. Um, it looked very final, didn't it? Looks nearly as upset as you look now. And, and, his, yeah. <laughs> and his Instagram, there was a thing, you know, he used that hashtag, once a blue, always a blue. Uh, to me, that means he's gone. Yeah, it was an emotional night last night. It genuinely was. Like, it felt all about uh, Joe Hart. He didn't feel about anything else. It was a training game, really. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the um, City Predictor. Okay, so while my face burns off, <laughs> we're going to attempt... <laughs> The, uh, the City Predictor. Now, please, please, please don't let me get the forfeit again. The forfeit is we decided. Do you know Pep is bald? Right? Apparently, that's all we all hear from United fans. He's bald and he's beautiful. But um, Pep is someone's, bald. we're going to do the teacher thing. Someone's got to wear a t-shirt next week saying, Pep is bald. And that's a picture it. of his beautiful bald noggin on. Big if Pep's head <laughs> and Pep is bald. Right it's going to be screen printed and screenshot by every United fan um, on Twitter, basically. Of course, yeah. yeah of course. And, uh, but you know what? I, I, I could take that over, over eating a chilli, potentially. <laughs> so. Do you know what? Now I've done that, and I know it didn't look hot that chilly, but I promise you it was. Uh, I'm up for anything. Annoyingly, you get to go first. Uh, we've got to predict the goal scorer and the man of the match and uh, the score, so you can go first. Who are you going to pick for first goal scorer, Elliot? Um, hmm. Let's have a think. <laughs> Wilfred. No. Yeah, yeah, so um, Aguero, of course. Yeah, that's basically it's a race to say Aguero. Um, I'm going to say Nolito. Uh, I think you'll start. Good yeah. I was considering Sterling, but uh, I think Nolito's just good for a goal. He's good for a goal against like, teams that are hard to break down, and I think West Ham will be pretty stubborn, and I think he'll just kind of pop up. And he's hit the ground running a bit, Nolito, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, you can a, see his experience straight off. We were saying off camera how he's a little bit like a Pedro, maybe not a world star, but a, yeah. very, a very effective player, the kind of person who will get your goals and assists by simply being in the right place in the right time, a very yeah. intelligent player. Um, and so he's going to be mine. I'm going to choose for the man of the match. Uh, I'm going to choose... Uh, it's been a lot of defenders recently. We know it's Colorado and Stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm still going to choose uh, David Silva. No, actually, no, I'm going to choose Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling's my man of the match. Who's right. it going to be? John Stones. 
John Stones. Yeah. <laughs> You're still shaking. I don't, no, actually, no, no. Do you know what? I'm not going to go with John Stones. I've changed my mind. Because I don't think West Ham have got that much up front to come out. Yeah, they're well. lacking Paye, aren't they? Lacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got, they've got Carroll's out, Paye's out. Yeah. Um, and in Valencia's up front, but look at the Valencia's links of Boney, aren't they? Yeah, and they only brought him on late for a last minute win against Bournemouth last week, so I'm changing my mind, I'm not having a defender, I'm going to go with Fernandinho. Fernandinho, and the score prediction? Uh, I think we might win to nil, I think we're, I'm going to go, I've not even thought about this before, so let me have a real 3-0 <laughs> vibe. Wow, I'm feeling it man, 3-0. 3-0? Yep. Right, I'm going to go for 2-0. Uh, to old Man City. I think West Ham will be very dogged in defence. I think Bilic is a good manager. Yep. I think they'll turn up, but I reckon we'll still grind out the victory, just about. I've got a feeling we'll keep a clean sheet as well. Um, yeah. Just kind of feeling at the moment. Um, but yeah, Blues, what do you make of that? What do you think the score's going to be? Who's going to be man of the match? What is your team going to be? And any ideas for forfeits? Um, <laughs> preferably not involving Chilis because we've been there before and Got this not. man yeah. is going to be shaking for about the rest careful of the week. I've got the toilet now. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> awful. Genuinely awful. Get in the comments below. Let us know your predictions for the game. Uh, let us know what you want to see uh, in terms of forfeits. Drop a like on the video, subscribe, and we will see you soon.